welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the L'Oreal Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick, the Les Macaroon Collection. If you do want to see a review and swatches, please keep watching. This collection is brand new. I just purchased all seven shades at Ulta. They do retail for $9.99 each. Here's what the packaging looks like. It is super, super cute. I love this baby pink top. Here's all seven shades. Let's get started with the swatches. I do want to read a little bit about this collection. It does say online, indulge in sweet Parisian confection or full matte perfection. L'Oreal Pro Matte Scented Liquid Lipstick just got more decadent. Enhanced with a delightful macaroon aroma with notes of almond, vanilla, and cream, Infallible Pro Less Macaroon Scented Liquid Lipstick provides all-day wear, full coverage matte color. This long wear liquid lipstick feels comfortable during wear and isn't sticky. A colorful, on-trend liquid lipstick for every sweet look you crave. Meet your newest lipstick addiction. With a Pro Sculpt applicator, shape and add dimension to lips. The first shade is called Dose of Rose. Super cute name. I love the packaging and these are matte. So let's open this up. Smelling the first shade in Dose of Rose. I do smell the almond and the vanilla but it's very subtle it's not like wham bam in your face it does come with l'oreal's doe foot applicator so let's swatch this let's see what this looks like Ooh, very pretty very pinky let's see what it looks like applied on the lips This shade is too bubblegum pinky for me. It does not suit my skin complexion. I do like the formula. It doesn't feel sticky or goopy on my lips. Let's move on to the next shade in this collection. The next shade is called Praline de Paris. Let's see what this shade looks like. I definitely think this shade would suit me way better. That was a horrible swatch. I'm sorry, you guys. But let's see what this looks like applied on the lips. You can smell the almond and the vanilla, but I can't really smell it applied on my lips. So if you guys are sensitive to smells, you probably won't be able to smell this unless you're like really, really sniffing for it. Like I'm trying to sniff for it and then I can smell it. This is truly one swipe pigment. I didn't have to dip my applicator back into the tube. Let's move on to the next shade in this collection. The next shade is called Mon Caramel. Ooh, super pretty. Wow. Let's see what this looks like applied on the lips. This shade in Mon Caramel is the perfect nude shade for me. It complements my skin complexion. Mon Caramel reminds me of the Chocolate Collection. I did review that as well. I will link it right over here in the cards if you guys are interested. That's what this shade reminds me of. It doesn't have that chocolate scent to it. Just this shade reminds me of one of those chocolate scented lippies. Let's move on to the next shade in this collection. Removing these matte lip lipsticks are going to be a struggle because these do last quite a long time and they do feel like the same formula as the chocolate scented ones. These are definitely going to last you quite a long time. I love this formula you guys. The next shade in this collection is called Guava Gush. I love these names. They're super cute. Let's see what this swatch is like. Ooh, this is very bright. I don't think I can rock this shade but let's see what it looks like applied on the lips. This shade in Guava Gush 
you can definitely smell the aroma vanilla and the almond it just beats you right there but it smells really really good you guys let's apply this on the lips This shade in Guava Gush is a little bit too bright for my liking. Let's move on to the next shade in this collection. The next shade is called Mademoiselle Mango. What a cute name. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh, this is so pretty. I really do like this shade, you guys. What a pretty shade. Let's see what it looks like applied on the lips. This shade is so pretty, but I feel like it doesn't cover up my dark upper lip. I know that the matte lip lipstick did not dry down yet completely. You can still kind of see it peeking through. I feel like this formula could have been a little bit more pigmented. I don't like this shade. Let's move on to the next shade. The next shade in this collection is called Bamboo's Frenzy. Ooh, another pretty shade. This is a bright fuchsia. Let's see what it looks like applied on the lips. I actually really do like this fuchsia shade. It complements my skin complexion, and I can definitely see myself wearing this shade out. Let's move on to the last shade in this collection. The last shade in this collection is called Black Current Crush. You guys know purples are my favorite. Hopefully, this will look good on the lips. Let's see what it looks like applied on the lips. guys I love this purple shade it complements my skin complexion this shade in black current crush has to be my favorite shade and mon caramel has to be my favorite shades out of this entire collection the other five shades in this collection I was not really a fan of especially this shade in mademoiselle mango this wasn't as pigmented as I thought it would be it didn't cover up my dark upper lip so this needed a little bit more work in my opinion but this smells this is where you can smell that almond, the vanilla. Out of the entire collection, this has to be the most scented in my opinion. It looks like my arm swatches have completely dried down. I am going to be doing a wet swatch for you guys. Zoom you guys in closer. The first shade we have here is Dose of Rose. Here we have a wet swatch. It looks pretty much the same when it did dry down. Here we have Praline de Paris. It looks pretty much the same. And then of course we have my favorite shade in Mon Caramel. This is the perfect nude for my skin complexion. That is a gorgeous nude shade. I love it. It dries down pretty much the same. The next shade is Guava Gush. This shade in Guava Gush has the most intense fragrance. I actually smell this shade. It smells so good. Same exact pigment as when it does dry down. And we have Mademoiselle Mango. This I was not a fan of. It wasn't that pigmented in my opinion. It did not cover up my dark upper lip. If you guys don't have like a dark lip, this shade will look gorgeous on you. So here's what that looks like. It looks the exact same as the dried down version. And then we have my other favorite shade, Bamboo's Frenzy. 
this fuchsia shade looked gorgeous on me and it does dry down the exact same. Then my favorite shade out of the entire collection is Black Current Crush. It's this beautiful purple shade. It dries down the exact same. Here's a closer look of what all the swatches do look like, dried down and then freshly swatched. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.